What's the verdict with Dixie? Is she all right? She and Tad told you about that, huh? Yeah, they said that uh, Joe was bringing a, a psychiatrist to give a, a reevaluation. Let me ask you this, Brooke. What's your evaluation of Dixie? She seemed perfectly sane. Good. Good. You'd be hard to fool. Jack, did she do those things that Adam said she did? What do you think? I don't know. <clears throat> I know she was very depressed when the baby was born. Well, that's not uncommon with new mothers. No, but to try and kill her own child. Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nobody was there to see that. Nobody knows that for sure. No, I know that's true, but... But what? Can you imagine any woman that went through what Dixie went through with the birth of that baby? Any woman that loves their child as much as she does? Can you imagine any woman like that even dreaming of killing their child? No, I can't imagine it. Look, I didn't want to get involved in this, all right? I didn't want to hear the things that Adam said to me. Okay. Then just keep an open mind. Look, I wish I could tell you everything that went on in that house, but I can't. Let's just let it suffice to say right now, if I had a child, Brooke, I wouldn't hesitate for a minute to leave that child in Dixie's care. Are they here? Oh, we were so afraid that we were late. Well, you got here just in time. Bernicker should be here any minute. Bro Brooke, um, thank you so much for not letting Adam know that we were in the cabin. Likewise. We would have been finished if you had. It's okay. Okay, here are the copies and the originals. Good. Thanks, Julie. Dad, Dixie, welcome back. Well, I see you're all here. No worse for wear, I hope. Ms. English? Detective, I, I guess I should go. Well, look, why don't you take the material you brought me into the other office. You and Julie can go over it, make some notes. I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay. Uh, let's get going. I don't have a lot of time. Right. All right, here's Dr. Snow's affidavit. It's verifying his reversal of his original diagnosis of Mrs. Chandler. And there's another statement there saying that it, the first one was in error. Also, you have an affidavit from Dr. Paul Robinson verifying that he has examined Mrs. Chandler and found absolutely no indications of psychosis. Seems to be in order. Great. Now all we have to do is go down to the courthouse, reverse those commitment papers, and that's just a formality. Let's do it. Everywhere I turn, you're there. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of livens up your life, doesn't it? I mean, I'd hate for you to get bored, Detective. Yeah, well, this is one case I'll especially be glad to see closed. Uh, look, why don't you and Dixie go with Detective Berniger down to the courthouse over there as soon as I can. It's the final step to freedom. All right. Let's go. Hey, you've got this on the calendar? Yeah, Judge Hook is on hold. Okay. Uh, Brooke, can I talk to you for just a second? Is everything okay? Yeah. I think it's just about over. Listen, I just wanted to add my thanks to Dixie's. Uh, I think you've been pretty terrific through all this. Please. No, I mean, considering Dixie's the one that broke up your marriage. That's not entirely true. I wanted to believe that, but I also know that Adam wanted his son enough that he would have done anything. Listen, Adam's not over you. He came by here this morning to uh, have a talk with me about our date last night. Why? Well, he evidently thinks he still has the inside track. Well, uh, I think I set him straight last night. I don't think it's so, kid. Did he threaten you? Look, I've been considering asking you if you'd like to kind of keep us in kind of a low profile. I think it'd be a lot less hassle for you. Absolutely not. I can take care of Adam. Good. I like a confident woman. What does tonight look like? Looks great. Okay, you've got a date. You name the time, you name the place. I'll check with you later. Hi. <laughs> Stuart, hi. Hi. Hey, it's nice to see you. What brings you to Temple on such a beautiful fall day? Oh, isn't it a beautiful day? Yeah. yeah. I was looking for Adam, and I just, I just thought I'd drop by and see how you were doing. Well, here I am, and I'm fine. You don't seem fine. Oh, well, 
<laughs> Maybe I'm not fine, but uh, I'll get over it. What's wrong? It's no big deal. It's a big deal if it's got you all dithered. I just keep trying to figure something out, you know, and the more I try, the more confusing it seems. What are you trying to figure out? Dixie? You know, her escaping from Laurel Hill, running away from Adam. Did she really commit herself? I mean, did she, did she really have to? Was this just a big mistake? Was this a plot? Oh, forget it. Really, forget I'm asking. I don't want to know. Yes, you do. No, I don't, Stuart. I'm out of it. It's not my concern. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be all confused and preoccupied about it, Brooke, if you didn't care. But who is it you care about? Is it Dixie or Adam? It's all right to care about Adam. <laughs> I've tried so hard not to. I've tried so hard to be strong. There's nothing wrong with having feelings either. Yes, yes, Stuart, there is, you know, there is. When they wind up destroying you and... Oh, God, I don't know. I feel this creeping in, that... This rationalization, this excusing Adam. Why? Maybe you still love him. I miss him. I miss him. I find myself thinking about him. There were a lot of good times. A lot of good times. Yeah. A lot of good memories. Yeah. And I, I just find that he constantly invades my thoughts and it just, it makes me angry. Sometimes Memories are the way we stay happy sometimes. But you, you really did love him once, and then uh, those, those feelings just aren't going to go away. They ought to, Stuart. They really ought to, after everything he's done to me, you know? The lies, the betrayal. And now he's trying to betray Dixie with me. What? You know, he's not succeeded at any of this, and he never will. And this is not the way it should have ended up. It could have been wonderful for us, Stuart. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I just, you know, I just cannot stop thinking about him, about Laurel Hill. And yet I ask myself, why? Why do I keep asking? I don't want to be involved. I don't want to hear about it. I don't. But what? People just keep at me. I mean, they just keep at me. Adam has tried to gain my sympathy. And Tad and Dixie want me to be on their side. And I can't. I can't be on anybody's side. I, I couldn't even if I knew who was telling the truth. You couldn't, huh? Stuart, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. And at the same time, I keep wanting to know. And if I keep pursuing the truth, that means that I'm expressing interest in Adam. And if I express interest in him... Yeah. What are you going to do? 